is Frank Yeager. Frank Yeager fighting Corey Sanhagen, 39 years old, 5'6". I'm 5'7", with a 68-inch reach, and taking on Sanhagen, who I believe is 5'11". He's 28 years old, and he has a 70-inch reach. So, again, I just think when you get to a certain age, your chin just doesn't take punishment the way it used to. Frankie Yeager used to take some big damage, man, back in the days from those um, wars with, with Gray Maynard and Benson Henderson. But now, like I said, Father Time is undefeated and it eventually, he eventually catches everybody. And I'm not saying that's what happened with this. I'm saying in terms of your ability to take more punishment, Father Time catches up and wins every single time. The only way you can win is don't take the punishment. So it's easier said than done. But when you're fighting young killers like this who got good power, athletic, and they're hungry, these are the results that you're going to get. And I must say, beautiful flying knee for Corey Sanhagen, 28 seconds in. Now, here's my take. And I was talking a long ago about this, but he said he wasn't sure. I felt Edgar was trying to take the same approach that I took press Corey right away, keep him on his heels, take away his dynamic footwork and his movement. And it looked like it was good. The difference was for me, in my opinion of what happened, Frankie level changes a lot. You know, when he's going, going to the body, that extra level change brings his chin that much closer down to a guy like Corey Sanhagen, who's all the way already up here. And all he needs to do is step and lift his knee and he's gonna crack you right on the chin. Um, for this one, it wasn't a step in lifting knee. This was a flying knee. This was him propelling. And he said he used to play basketball. I listened to my opponent's interviews and I heard he used to play basketball back in the day, I think in high school. Um, so with that being said, seeing that, it, it really puts things in perspective in a couple of ways. Um, Corey Sanhagen is really freaking good. Uh, I think I'm really freaking good. Three, I created a newer, more dangerous monster from my fight with Corey Sanhagen to the point where this guy has put out two top five contenders and at the same, the, the same time, he did it with style points and he's promising me a nap that he owes me and uh I, I like being awake I, I like napping at night on my own time not in uh the octagon i've done that before and it, let's just say i don't plan on doing that ever again uh but uh yeah so those are the couple of things and again like i said about frankie Hager and father time uh san Hagen is here to stay he's a very very dangerous competitor uh I think people need to take notice of a couple of things as well. Like, like I said before, I did that to him when he was still decimating guys. I know people can say uh, he didn't get those finishes the way he did of late. You can say that, but he was still just as dangerous. He still was doing the same stuff. It just wasn't connecting. Now, attacks like that only need to connect one time. A spinning heel kick to the head only needs to connect one time. A flying knee to the chin only needs to connect one time where he's throwing it in these other fights and he dropped guys he dropped that guy mario batista and these other fights he's he's hitting guys he almost he clipped uh rafael sunsell but the brunt of the knee did not hit flush like it did against frank yeager coming in level changing it looked like he was going to go to the body or going for a takedown and caught him with his arms open and it's just one of those things and you you have to Keep those things in mind. It's like, yeah, he is still human. Yes, he is very dangerous. But yes, these things happen based on the situations and the setups that you allow and that you give to your opponent. Uh, it, Frankie it has a good grappling. He's a good wrestler, strong wrestler. But I, my thing is, if he takes him, Corey down, then what is it? Does, is it planning to hold him down? Because Corey's not terrible on the ground. He's got some competent jujitsu down there. I think when you have a guy who's just good with back control and good with maintaining back control, that's a little bit of a different scenario. And that's where I come in. In this situation, we want to see if Corey can get back up after being taken down multiple times by Frank Yeager. We didn't get to see that. We didn't get to have those questions answered for, um, no pun intended, 
for the later future of Corey Sanhagen and for Frank Yeager, knowing what, it, what it's going to be for those guys going forward. That takes us to not knowing if Corey's takedown defense has improved. He is working with Carrington Banks, who wrestled D3. I remember him from the wrestling days when he wrestled at Warburg, and he is a very, very good wrestler, strong wrestler. So I would imagine that in the next couple of months, within the next year, Corey is going to be making some big leaps and, and gains in uh, his grappling department. But that remains to be seen. He's still, he's still young, 28 years old, and he has the world at his fingertips right now. Uh, again, I think I created a monster. I'm a proud dad. <laughs> and uh, same thing with Marlon Marais. He created a monster. He, I made a mistake in that fight. And I learned from it. You don't fight with emotion. You don't fight with lack of setup. You don't fight with disregard and lack of appreciation for what your opponent brings to the octagon. That calls for a nap. That calls for bad things to happen to you. You have to be sharp. You have to be ready to fight. I think same thing happened with Sanhagen and his fight with me. Uh, maybe he had a little bit of disregard to my jujitsu and how good I actually am down there. Who knows? But fights happen. Every fight is different. And I look forward to the opportunity to fight in a guy like that again. If he doesn't get matched up, if they do decide to have him wait for the, the winner of myself and Jan, or if they decide to give him TJ Dillashaw, who I think needs to fight somebody. I don't know if he's fighting Jose Aldo. I don't know if they're going to make him fight Corey Sanhagen and make that the, the number one contender fight. So who knows? We're, we're going to find out. He's planning for a name and the fame. Only legacy remains. Remember the name, Al Jermaine Sterling.